This uh, horizontal electrode and, and the increase in energy, it's been known for a long time. You know, some, some people that, that challenged the original 2002 model, that, that's what they were trying to point out. But if you have an arc flash coming off of horizontal electrodes, it's more aggressive. And it is. The question is, when would you see that? But I also had uh, a couple of colleagues that looked at this relative to the effect on PPE. In their view, this, this was, uh, it was actually, I think it was from 2010, uh, a paper from 2010 that my, my friends uh, took a look at this testing. What they did is they had the electrodes in a horizontal configuration like this. So the energy was coming out this direction. And they looked at what was the effect on the arc rating of the PPE. Because their thought is you have the plasma coming out this way, that's going to be more aggressive with the material. And they thought, what? What kind of an impact does this have? So uh, earlier this year, this year being <laughs> the dreaded 2020, uh, I was at a conference before everything shut down. It was This was uh, the end of February. I was presenting, uh, co-presenting a paper. And I went back and I looked at the new 2018 model and I compared it with what my colleagues had concluded back in 2010. So fast forward 10 years. It was amazing, and I want to explain this to you. Basically, what they were looking at 10 years ago from a different perspective is almost identical to what we have today with the HCB model. So let me show you this table, and I, I want to describe what we have going on here. They had several different cases that they looked at. So the first case was looking at PPE. Back then, the term HRC was still being used, Hazard Risk Category 4. And they had PPE that based on normal or traditional ASTM testing was good for 41 calories a square centimeter. Well, what they did is instead of having the electrodes vertically like we had in the 2002 model, they aimed the electrodes horizontally right at the material and found out that with the electrodes aimed horizontally, that material could only handle 21 calories a square centimeter. So they were proposing basically derating factors in the event that you had horizontal electrodes. And then case number two, they had PPE layered that tested out at 70 calories a square centimeter. And again, they thought, well, let's aim the electrodes horizontally at it and see what happens. And the corresponding PPE was really only capable of handling 35 calories a square centimeter. So they were looking at it. Okay, so we have a PPE rating. If we hit it with a horizontal configuration, the PPE can't handle as much. So I thought, okay, let me look at this from a different perspective now. And this is what I did. And I, I presented this at uh, an IEEE conference in February of this year. So I looked at, let's say we have 50,000 amps of short circuit current, 480 volts, and I use just a traditional 18 inch working distance and a 20 by 20 enclosure because that's the default size. And what I did is I expanded on their work. And this is the result of expanding on the work. Columns one through four are what they had. And I thought, well, let me try to match the 21 calories and try to match the 35 calories. And I tried to match it using the 2018 model. So column seven was my attempt to play with the numbers to match what they had back in 2010. So I was going at this from a different perspective. Let me come up with their derated numbers first, and then I'll switch the calculation to horizontal. So the only variable that I actually had to, to fine tune to try to match their 21 and their 35 calories in column four was the duration. So you see the duration in column five. I got the duration to 16 cycles and that was as close as I could get so that column seven matched what they had in column four. And you see those results. And then I thought, okay, so I'm looking at this from the different perspective. I'm starting with the lower numbers with VCB. Then I switched the calculations and I went to HCB 
what if these electrodes were in a horizontal configuration now? Using the 2018 model, going to the horizontal configuration, what happens? Much to my amazement, they needed a much higher arc rating. 42, which got really close to what they had in column three, 41. And the second row, 71 calories, which was amazingly close to what they had in column three. And, and this, this really got the attention of a lot of people at this conference. Because what this table is illustrating is back in 2010, it was recognized, yes, horizontal does have an impact. So taking an arc rating based on the traditional ASTM method and orienting the electrodes horizontally, the PPE wasn't able to handle as much. So I looked at it and I used the vertical configuration with 2018, tried to match what they had in column four. And so I thought mathematically, let me switch this to horizontal and see what happens. Oh my gosh, I got pretty much the same numbers that they had. So what, what happened here, it was a matter of perspective that they were looking at, here's the arc rating, but if we aim the electrodes horizontal, this is the effective arc rating, it's much lower. So I looked at, well, let me start down there with VCB, and if I change the calculations to horizontal, what's the equivalent energy that we get? And it turned out matching, really close to matching what they had. So it was just perspective. They started with the PPE, and then basically ended up coming up with an effective rating. And I looked at, well, let me start with the lower rating with the new um, VCB model and then use the HCB model and, and see what rating you would need and, and they lined up. It was absolutely amazing. This uh, table that I showed you where I made the comparison, this table is available out at my Brain Filler website. If you go out to brainfiller.com and up on the menu up at the top is a menu item that says resources and you select resources, and I have a whole series of articles and things that I've published. There'll, there'll be a sub-menu item that says technical articles. And if you hit that and you start rolling down through all the different articles, you'll see one where I uh, titled it Plasma, Modify, Modify the Arc Rating or Modify the Incident Energy Calculations. And that was really the perspective that I looked at, that my uh, colleagues back in 2010, they modified the arc rating. And I looked at it from the different perspective. I modified the calculations and used the new horizontal configuration. And we ended up with amazingly similar results for that. So you could go out to, to Brain Filler. In fact, um, at the Brain Filler website, brainfiller.com, you go under the resources and I have technical articles, I have some videos out there. All that stuff is free. If you find something out there that you know interests you, print it, copy it, I mean, you know, give, credit. But um, other than that, it's, it's out there for me.